So the title of the story is In Grandma's Day, and the inspiration is sitting down with her and listening to her tell stories. And I actually recorded her telling some bits of this, and she's a hoot when she's telling the story. So, so hopefully it'll have some humor in it. Uh, Grandma grew up in Eureka when the sidewalks were made of wood. She was raised in a strict sort of household and mostly did what she should. She met Grandpa at a church supper with only the best of food. He eyed her plate, she fed him a bite, and she shocked his mother good. She started her nurse's training in time for the Spanish flu. The work was hard, the hours were long, but she did what she must do. Many sick soldiers courted her, and she kept their spirits high by wearing Grandpa's ring on a hidden chain just to marry him by and by. When the couple's first house caught fire, Grandma jumped up like any good mother. She scooped her young child under one arm, the Victrola under the other. In the 20s, the birth rate was climbing. Women needed maternity places. Grandma said, let's build a big bungalow with room for my baby cases. When Grandma was tending a patient, her own kids had to be good. She was big nurse in charge. Babies came in a flood, and everybody did what they should. In her later years, she tended Grandpa, but did she love him true? Well, every night he leaned on his walker, and she kissed him one, then two. Think of those in our midst who can trace their steps back a hundred years or so. Maybe Grandma tended your matriarch and helped your family grow.